We're down here in downtown Houston again today, out in the middle of the tech team, finding treasure on the beach. Uh, due to issues with my last few trips, we now have a checklist. I've got a sand scoop, check. I got a metal detector with a charged battery, check. There's like a good chance of rain today. It's all foggy and stuff. It's about 70 degrees. It's really nice out here today. But you know what? It ain't gonna rain on my day. The water temperature though is like 57 degrees and the kids are already out in the water. Good night, that's gotta be cold. But anyway, we'll get started. It's gonna be a good day. Got the first decent signal today. I say decent, it's zinc penny signal. And it is a zinc penny. <coughs> Look at that. GoPro stop recording. Okay, getting about a 1617. A good way to lose a target. It's fishing weight. GoPro stop recording. Getting a quarter type target. I didn't pinpoint it very well, so I probably won't get it on the first scoop. I did get it on the first scoop. Where's my quarter? I see my quarter. It is Colorado. GoPro, stop recording. Give me a, uh, maybe a quarter, but it looks like a little bit under a quarter tone. Got several silver bands or silver rings, that same number. It could be a quarter. It is in that quarter range. Get, toil my silver ring out of the dark earth today. I got it. And it is neither one. It is a bottle cap. It is a pin. It says Team Boy. Yay. GoPro stop recording. Okay, was getting a penny target. Kind of deep. Haven't really looked at it yet, but I can tell it's not a penny. Looks like maybe some type of pendant or something. The back is some kind of pin. I guess with a face on it. Yay! GoPro, stop recording. You know here at the Mr. Charlie channel, we don't make excuses. We just have results. Well, today, I might have to have to make some excuses so because the results weren't too good. It was pretty rough out there today. The, uh, it was beginning of spring break. The water temperature's 57. It's too cold for Mr. Charlie. It wasn't too cold for all them 10-year-old kids that were out swimming around in the water all day. I don't know about that. I, I, I'm, um, whatever. But uh, the, the, I went out during low tide, but low tide wasn't very low today. It was about the same level as what the normal tide is. It was real rough. The waves were blowing me around. Da 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 da. Wham a wham a wham. And I walked both ways to school uphill in the snow barefooted when I was your age. Remember that, okay? But this is our finds. I have got some bottle caps. A little bit of aluminum, some fishing weights, got a fishing hook up there, and I got about 50 cents in clad. That's it. Didn't even find a dime. Uh, got the find of the day is I don't know if this is just a pin or an earring or what it is. It's some kind of like little art thing. It's got a thing on the back, so I'm guessing it's a pin. And then I got Team Boy, but this is the find of the day. Good night. Oh, well, let me tell you. 
I'm about to, I'm gonna have to borrow about 50 cents. I'm about to go see Mr. Iffy right now. I'm gonna move all this stuff up to about a million dollars on one of these little scratch tickets. But I wanna tell you something else too. I've got a new segment coming up next week called Mr. Charlie's Trash. And it's gonna be pretty interesting. It's, it's almost as cool to find these pull tabs, little pieces of aluminum and, and the fisher weights and stuff as it is the rest of the stuff. I'm gonna show you the project that I'm working on and making and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. So stick around, look for the next video that's coming out. It may be titled something like Mr. Charlie's Trash or something like that. I don't know what I'm gonna title it yet, but it's pretty cool. All said and done, I appreciate y'all sticking with me. I appreciate y'all watching my channel. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for the Mr. Iffy segment. Okay, I'm at Mr. Iffy's internationally recognized Exxon station in downtown Grangeland, Texas, talking to Mr. Iffy himself. Now, we've had a discussion lately. I haven't been going through a good run of, of scratch tickets, and I have been saying that it's his defective tickets. He's been saying it's my defective beach money. So I've got my 50 cents off the beach today with about 50 cents from my ashtray in my truck. So theoretically, we should break even today, right? I hope so. Okay. I hope we win $1,000. Okay, Mr. Iffy, I will take a $1 scratch ticket, please. Well, which one? That one. That one? Yeah, that one. Here is 99 cents of hard earned money. I'm gonna keep one penny to scratch the, the ticket off and I'll give it back to you. I can't hold the camera and scratch the ticket off at the same time, but this is gonna be, this says up to $50 million. There's your, oops, I'm sorry. There's this up to $50 billion winning on this one scratch ticket. And I'm lazy, I'm not gonna scratch. I'm not going to scratch the whole thing off. I'm just going to run it through the machine and it says... It says not a winner. Defective again.